we weren't around, luckily. But um, we were in Atlanta, actually, the night it hit. We were just going to play a show with uh, Bang Tango. We are just ready to go on stage. We are all psyched up to play. And it was about a minute before we were going on, and we were on our bus. And he was watching the start of the World Series, and they announced it. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, we just went. And I just it just seemed like the whole place was devastated because they didn't really give any details. Mm -hmm. We were like, are we going to go on or what? And our manager lives like right in the Haight-Ashbury, and so many of our friends. We were, we were a little scared at first, but we said, hey, we got to play. So we just said, let's forget about it. And if our manager is even half alive, she's going to want us to play. <laughs> we went out there and just played and you know and we it was a good show because um one of the stage fans made a comment just because their city got destroyed didn't mean they had to destroy our town. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> uh, um besides earthquakes uh the bay area is known for a lot of uh, thrash bands yeah uh, was it hard for you guys to uh get gigs in, in the beginning in the area or um no it wasn't really that hard um um it was like a little bit different at first because you know there were some bands that were like us playing you know like Jet Boyd played and then they moved to LA but it's mostly thrash and but our music was a lot heavier so even if someone saw a picture of us and we didn't really have a thrash look or anything you know they'd come check it out because they heard we could play guitars and we were, we were a hard rock band right. so in some of our first gigs and the big clubs were like with Guns N' Roses and Poison and right. stuff so we had some pretty good first shots and cherry bombs mm -hmm. so and then you know people you know heard about that we were a heavy metal band there was lots of girls at our show we had guys from Testament and you know cool. all the thrash bands hanging out at our shows anyway so so actually were you ever tempted to, to move south to LA at all um, we, we thought about it but then we had built up such a loyal following in you know the Bay Area we didn't want to abandon them because we had seen what other bands had done mm -hmm. and they just lost their following in San Francisco right. and you know why take a chance in LA when we have a good following in the Bay Area and we could make some noise up there I hear you. Well, we'll talk more in a little bit we're gonna play some videos right now now we got uh, some good friends of yours, in fact. I produced uh, two albums for a really heavy thrash band called Death Angel. Mm -hmm. And I produced about every demo tape from every thrash band in San Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I stayed alive for the last two years. So I'm really, and I co produced our album. I was going to say, because yeah. you were no stranger to producing yeah. for you. So when you went in, and of course, you, you'd done other demos, other bands. Was it hard to, to do your own? That uh, was the record? hardest ever. It was just like, I, I was in there pulling my hair out the whole time. So we had a producer, Paul Northfield, mm -hmm. um, was, you know, the main producer, and he kind of had the final say. But it's just like, I was so worried about every detail, everything. We did the record almost completely live, so it's hard to make it, you know, sound really big with just like one take of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone playing together and just going, okay, that's it, one guitar left, one guitar right. Me singing with the band, we listen to it and go, okay, that's it, what are we going to do now? <laughs> you know, right. like, so. It's just like, I wanted all the vocals to sound right. I didn't want anything to sound too big or too dated. or Because I'd done a lot of tricks in the past with thrash bands where I made the background vocals to sound like anthems. And I, right. I wanted to sound real. I wanted to sound just like Vane live and keeping energy. So it was definitely a lot harder than producing someone else. You can make a decision much quicker when you produce someone else going, yeah, that's great. No problem. Let's move on. But when it's yeah. yourself, you go, I can do it better. <laughs> and he drove us all I was just going to say, tell me, how time. was he as a producer? Oh, it was, it was crazy <laughs> because um, he'd have to make sure that everybody was happy with, you know, what was coming out mm -hmm. on tape and you know he'd be running around oh is, was, is it good enough you know do you think it's too much this do you think it's too much that oh no what do you think what do you think and then you know it's just like driving us nuts but nobody fights broke out no no no, no I, I, I <laughs> know almost too much in Disneyland I don't like it I feel bad if like even one member of the band was just going I think it's cool but I don't dig it then I'd feel like my mission my mission was to have it sound like I wanted to sound have the band happy the producer happy just have everything great and it's hard to do that with a record mm -hmm. it's just like getting you know five guys and a, and a different Guy to get him all paintbrush and go go paint that. You know that's right. recording is. You know? But he did a good job. We're proud of him. So yeah. <laughs> well, actually, we're gonna check out some of the product right now. We got the video. Great. Beat the bullet. Anything you want to say quickly about the video before we lead into it? Um, it's done in San Francisco. All the outside shots are um, done right outside uh, Broadway, where we play in the Stone, and the two snakes in it are ah! over there. I saw her singing. Then she moved back over here and gave up the career. And I'm telling you, Dutch girls do rule. Yeah, yeah, they're happy. No first hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dus we zouden gewoon iets in het Nederlands kunnen zeggen en het maakt niet uit en niemand zou het begrijpen. Ja, niemand weet wat we zeggen, you know? Yeah. That was about your tour manager over there. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, speaking of touring, uh, you guys are going out with Skid Row? Um, in Europe, we're going to, in England, we're mm -hmm. playing. Right now we're doing, headlining our own club tour, mm -hmm. and then in about two weeks we're heading over there and playing with them. We're really excited about it because we think we're Off now with the debut from the new Bad Brains album, Quickness, this is Soulcraft. <laughs>